guys, it's Elizabeth from Elizabeth Books. I'm here today to do my February TBR video. So first, I'm going to do my little monthly um, TBR challenge that Kat from Tastic made up. And I'll link it below so you can see. So I'm just going to see what I have to start out with. Okay. I got, read a 2015 debut novel. Well, I don't have any yet because it's only February, so I guess I'll have to read borrow somebody who bought a new book or I'll have to buy a new book. Oh no, I have to go shopping. <laughs> so yeah, that's my challenge. So I don't have one to show you yet for that, but cool. Then I have some other books I just feel like I want to read in February. So I have Every Boy's Got One by Meg Cabot. This is the third book in like her little Boy Next Door series. I read the first two, I think, in, like, September, and this one's just been sitting in my TBR pile, so I really want to get to it, and they were really fast reads because they're all told in, like, emails and texts, so it should be cute. Then I would like to read, um, The Storytellers by Jodi Bacol. This one and her brand new one are the only ones I haven't read yet by her, and I read all her books, so, I mean, I only like half of them, but I still read all of them just to see. And this one has just been, again, sitting on my TBR for, like, five months, so I should get to it. Then I'd like to read Anne of Green Gables by Ellen Montgomery. All I've ever done is watch the show for this, so I really want to read it, and this copy is really cute. And I'm pretty sure I like reading it because I really like her character, and I really liked watching it, so I want to get to this. I'd like to read The Time Traveling Fashionista at the Palace of Marie Antoinette by Bianca Turdowski, and I don't really know what this is about. I just saw this at my um, local used bookstore a few months ago, and I picked it up because I thought it was pretty, so I should probably read it to see if it's worth reading the rest of the series or not. Then I would like to read The Summer of First and Last by Tira Ellen McVoy, and I don't think I've ever read anything else by her. But this one, just the cover looked really cute to me, and I just wanted to pick it up. I'm very bad at, like, judging books by their cover and how they look, and that's how I pick them up. But it's probably a cute contemporary, and I will, I will read it. Then I'd like to read Stitching Snow by R.C. Lewis, which is, like, a retelling of Snow White. And I um, got this in a giveaway. I won this in a giveaway. So I went to read it and see if it's good and and it's pretty. Yeah. Then I would like to read Second Chance Summer by Morgan Matson. I really loved Amy and Roger's Epic Detour and I want to read more of her books so I have this one to read by her and I bet it will be good because everybody seems to love her books and I want to read it. Then I would like to read Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. I know I've read this before but it was like the year it came out or something, and I know I was in high school, and I really don't remember it. Like, I kind of do, but not not really. And I've recently read, like, all of her other books. Like, I read Delirium and Panic and, um, and Rooms. So I really want to reread this one just to see, because I've had it forever and I haven't, like, read it again, to see if I want to keep it and read it again and get, you know what I mean? Yeah. And finally, I just have four books started right now, so hopefully I will finish them this month. I have my first classic of the year. I have 1984 by George Orwell. I'm about 100 pages in, and it's okay. I don't know. It's just like, I don't know. I can't say it's boring, but it's kind of boring. I'm trying to get through it, but I keep reading other things over it because it kind of bores me. But there's only like 200 more pages, so I can do it. Then I have Since You've Been Gone started by Morgan Matson. so it's my second book to read by her, and I love it so far, so yeah, I'm excited to keep reading it, and it's a quick, like, read. Then I have Have a Nice Day started by Julia Halpern, and I guess this is like a sequel of a book, and I didn't realize that, like, going into it, but it, it makes sense because... I don't think they've talked about anything that happened in the first book, so it's not, like, confusing or anything, but, um, yeah, so it's like a sequel and I'm just gonna read it, but oh well. 
And I looked on Goodreads and a bunch of other people said they didn't realize it was a sequel either and they like read it and so, you know. But it's okay, it's just like about a girl. It's like a little contemporary so far and it's not like bad but I got really bored of it and I had to switch to Since You've Been Gone when I was reading it so I will hopefully finish it though. And finally, I would like to read Air of Fire, which is the third book in the Throne of Glass series. I haven't started, but I put it down like a week ago and haven't gotten back to it. Because I was going to read it as my read a 500 page book, but then I got sucked into the second Game of Thrones, or the third Game of Thrones book. So I read that one instead and then kind of just forgot about you. Sorry. But I will get to you and finish it. So those are just my 13 books I hope to read, including this one. I have to find something to read, and I might read some other ones. I might not read these ones. I might read more than these, but you know, this is my base TBR, and tell me what you guys are hoping to read this February. Thanks, guys. Bye.